man, does it feel good to start the season off on a good note? A dub. Messed that up, but hey, we messed up plenty tonight. But we still came out and got an ugly win um, down in Brazil in the first game in South America. The first ever win in South America goes to the Philadelphia Eagles. And, uh, you know, the Packers put up a valiant, good effort, you know, overall. But um, we were just less sloppy and were able to take advantage of more mistakes than they were. So let's get this video started. What's up? It's your boy, Syndrome. Come back at you with another analysis video. And I kid you not, that's my real name. Like I said, the Eagles came out and got the win tonight. In like Jalen said, it's nice to be in the win column, especially after the sour taste that 2023 left us with, um, losing six of our last seven games and losing that drubber on the wrong side of it, of a loss in uh, a road playoff game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who we faced in a couple of weeks actually in Week Four. So um, back in Tampa Bay. So we'll see how that goes. But anyways, let's, let's evaluate this game and let's start with the Eagles this time. I usually start with the opposing teams, but let's start with our boys. Um, this is a back and forth affair. Um, I think what six lead changes in this game, it was you know, up and down. And um, the second and third quarters were the biggest, and then the droughts were in the first and fourth, fourth quarters. We were lucky the Packers had a um, mistake field start to their game, as did we. Um, they only scored six points, one, three points off of, of uh, the turnover, the interception that uh, Jalen threw. And I don't know if it was off a of turnover again, but. And they were once again only able to put up three points. We could have been down 14 nothing in the first um coming out of the first quarter, but we were only down six, so that gifted us a lot. Jalen um made a horrible mistake throwing that pick. You know, he tried to target um Devonta Smith over the middle, ended up throwing it to Xavier McKinney. This man just he's the ghost, he's haunting us um effusively from the Giants to the Packers, and he's still picking off Jalen. <laughs> so that's like three, you know, passes picked off in the last you know, calendar year. So, um, anyways, you know what I mean? But, I mean, it, it, he was able, you know, credit to the defense. I, I agree with uh, Herm Edwards. We were able to have solid red zone on uh, defense. Gave up, you know, a touchdown or two there, but, you know, uh, we made them work for, you know, some of the others. And, you know, some lapses on defense. We'll get to that later. But overall, like, it was a decent effort by defense and opening weekend because, you know, we didn't get a lot of preseason snaps on offense or defense. And that really showed. And, you know, I heard that um, Love only played three snaps, and that showed as well. So both teams looked rusty. The field, let's get to the field conditions. They were horrible. This pitch was made to, you know, be played on, you know, for uh, played with soccer, not for a football team. Slick, wet. You know, you want that in some areas, but not in this area of life, not in sports. So, um Definitely, you know, a cash grab by the NFL, but hey, they're doing what they're doing, you know, spreading the brand and at the cost of, you know, a game, you know, hey, the Brazil fans got a great game to witness. I saw Seahawks fans, Colts fans, you know, Eagles and Packers, but a great game for them to witness. But yeah, it, it was um, a nail biter. We could have closed out the game earlier, um, could have taken a double digit point lead, but Jalen, against once again, he made a horrible decision at the beginning of the game. Another horrible decision, you know, um, late, over the middle, across his body. <laughs> Three big no-nos. Um, targeting A.J. Brown, he slipped, and Jair picked it off. And also, Jair could have picked off two or three um, more passes. You know, um, uh, Keyshawn Nix, Nixon could have had, you know, a pick or two. But um, fortunately, they dropped it. Jalen, uh, sorry, Jordan Love also threw some pick-worthy plays. Um, one that Kobe Dean should have picked off. I'm like, damn it, bro, get that. I just don't see him making plays like in that part of the game. Um, unless it's a, a gimme, but that was one where like, yeah, it was coming in hot and heavy, you know, so I don't fault him for, you know, not making that, but you know, at least it was a negative play for the offense. So um, it wasn't a, a, a catch, you know, he said he gave up a big one, but he could add a big play. He made a big play um, by way of it, you know, not being a catch for the offense and, you know, um, giving them better field position by moving the ball up forward. But, um, you know, I give Jalen Hurts a B- minus in this one because he made the necessary plays, but he put us in bad spots. You know, definitely they could have gone up and scored, like, you know, a touchdown on that um, opening sequence, opening drive for us. And with the other play, that could, the momentum could have swung the other way. They could have taken that, you know, into, uh, you know, touchdown territory and, and uh, on territory and, and scored a touchdown. But, Defense, like, you know, it was, been, it was truly kind of the definition of memory don't break because we allowed some big plays and got to work on those, um, not being a sieve out there. But um, at times, he made plays, you know. Uh, Reed made a play. We'll go over that later. But 
um, just a, a, a overall team win, you know, um, you know, O-line, you know, could have been better. Definitely we'll get to Cam in a second. You know, he's definitely you know, got to get broken in better than this pause. But um, overall, I give the, the team, I would say, a solid B um, grade, both on offense and defense, special teams together. Special teams had some gaps early as well. So let's get to Jalen. Um, some of the throws he was making, it was just clear that he's in a much better place. You know, offense, offensive coordinator, um, some of the routes they're, they're running. Um, there's some routes, you know, I went back, like, oh, I, we had a second and two, and ended up being a fourth and two, and we ended up punting because they didn't run the damn ball. I'm like, Kellen, don't get cute out here. So, you know, a lot of things to, to process. Um, Jalen Hurts said it himself after the, um, the game. Um, some things that, you know, we're going to have to look over in the film room, but overall, you know, you'll take the dub right now, you know, go on the nine hour flight back home and, you know, be happy that you came out of this one um, with a dub. But, um, you know, 278, you know, he, he was doing some nice things that, you know, that Packers offense. The QB runs weren't there. We'll see if they're there later in the, in the year. But, you know, um, doesn't, shouldn't be a, a huge part of our offense. And I kind of, you know, it was similar to the opening drive. That's kind of the opening quarter. You're poking and prodding and seeing what's, you know, going to work, you know, what you need to work on and trying to set up defenses for later on in, in the year. Where, you know, they have tendencies. And like Kellen Moore said, you can break those tendencies and, and you know, do a little chess checkers in your mind, you know, uh, versus them. So do things that you know, go against what you, you've shown and, you know, kind of uh, allow you, you to make some plays. But, um, hey, man, two picks, you would definitely want those back. But the two TDs, you know, um, one guy did all the work, but, you know, he, he was pushing the ball, you know, matriculating down the field. We didn't chase explosive plays, like, you know, something that was damning for us last year. Just let things fall into place and ended up being an explosive play, so. Um, Saquon Barker couldn't have had a better debut, 4.54, uh, 24 carries, 109. I mean, he had an in inauspicious start. He slipped on his first play. I mean, five-yard loss, you know, that's your first carry. You're like, damn. But he was crucial, had a TD catch, um, set up perfectly by, you know, Devonta being in the slot. And also, uh, I think Johnny was on the outside. And then um, outside of him was uh, A.J. Brown. They took the coverage. Um by the time the safety, I think it was safety of the linebacker who had tried to, uh, who had to had different covers responsibilities in his own coverage. He, you know, um, Barkley leaped up the left side of the field, heading towards the end zone. By the time he tried, he tried to co come over, and safety came in coverage late. It was too late, so he caught that um, nicely in the end zone, and it was just a beautiful catch, man. Beautiful play made. Um, shot to Hurts. So like I said, you know, Hurts didn't really get anything going on the ground, but he did pick his spots. You know, like. Um, it was a nice play up the middle, and there were some plays we made, but they were containing the edges. You know, so shout out to defenses for, you know, doing what they should do, making sure Hurts doesn't break their back because, pause. Um, he had his highest rushing total against Green Bay Packers in 2022. Um, Kenneth Gainwell, only one carry for two yards. It is what it is. I mean, he's not the, the bolder of a man that Saquon Barkley is, but it is what it is because he made a crucial catch um, first time. It was a kind of an athletic catch. He contorted to catch the ball and then got up. Um, and then got extra yards to get the first down. So beautiful shot to him. As a Grant Kekatera, he only got one target, one catch, but he made it matter. Um, got, you know, fought for extra yards. Beautiful. So the, the key uh, cogs doing their thing and then the um, their backups, you know, playing their role. John Dotson did a lot of motion, only got one target, missed it. But, hey, he'll get acclimated further and um, he'll get involved in this offense. But, you know, he... I didn't expect, you know, him to have a, a huge highlight role, but just being a decoy was a big one in and of itself. Johnny Wilson, um, he could have drawn a PI on it, that one target, but, you know, he has to learn how to use his body um, in an NFL pause. But Dallas Goddard made a couple uh, good catches. Um, I think, you know, maybe two, maybe went for a first down, but he was playing his role. Um, hopefully that will continue to be ramped up, but he's the big, you know, part of the big three in this offense. He's the number three guy, but he's still part of that. Um... Devonta Smith just moving the chains. Two huge catches on the last drive, and it's he was just money. And then he he broke some tackles. You're like, you don't expect him to do that, but hey, he was doing out there doing the Lord's Lord's work. AJ Brown, um, yeah, that one sixty yard that he caught against Jair just broke off of him, caught the ball, and just turned on the afterburners. Surely he got faster this offseason. I mean, he was just clutch, um, making some other plays, and kind of got worried where he got hit by Bullard and you know he was slow to get up but hey um he tucked it out 
and um, you know, like, yeah, I, I'm I'm proud of how they battled all game and things just look better. Like there was one route where um, AJ Brown, I'm sorry, AJ Brown, sorry, Devonta Smith ran and he just post up turn around because you know the zone um, that was an open hole in the zone, and we didn't see that last year. So just side adjustments, you know, they're letting these receivers out there have free releases. Um, not free, well, just well, he's scheming some of the releases, but having uh, free um, will to kind of. Um, paint their own vision for how they want to do the routes and, and such. So, but it works perfectly within his offense. So, Cam Jurgens, you know, he uh, has to get better at snapping the ball. Um, I mean, the timing with with Hurts, you know, it caused you know, like two fumbles and one maybe you can place on Hurts, but one is just you know, he can see he's just talking and you know, just you know, getting everybody organized and then the ball comes, he ain't ready for it. Like, damn. So um, they got to work on that. Um, but Cam had some good blocks in the game. You know, had good. Um, combo block with uh, Beckton. Beckton had a solid outing. Lane did, except for that sack. But I mean, he he technically gave, gave up a sack, but you know he, he thought it was a dead play. So that's why I hate that rule where it, it's supposed to stop. So the guys got trained, you know, like okay, stop. But they should keep going throughout the play because you know the refs aren't always going to catch it. And it, it it was clearly a play that you know should have been you know um, called you know um, offsides or at least neutral zone infraction. So um, that was. That wasn't really on lane, but hey, he's got to play through, with, through the whistle, so he will say that. But overall, the, the offensive line looks solid. You know, there are times where you know, they got a knife through and Cam gave up like a one yard loss to uh, Saquon, you know, um, was it De Deontay Wyatt maybe shot through there, and a couple of other guys standing. But, you know, otherwise, uh, hopefully they work on that and get that better. But um, there's Slade. He punched the ball out on Josh Jacobs, so, you know, that peanut punch, bam, nice. Um, yeah, Jalen. Lost, you know, lost, lost those, but I forget. I think it was just those two. Um, Reed Blankenship coming up with a crucial pick, you know. So um, this was made possible by Zach Bond, sponsored by. I, I just want to say to say that, but um, he was playing underneath, but he made the the angle of the throw. Um, so it's where you know had to put it in a certain position, and Reed was able to shoot through, you know, on the tight end and come and pick the ball off, and just excellent. And he he also he cleaned up some plays. Uh, he saved a touchdown on, on one play. Um, he he's, was doing what he was doing last year, making up for other people's mistakes, being an eraser. And he's excellent at that, which is why I hate all the hate that he gets, you know, um, people being unathletic when he ran a four five five, you know, which is like the, the above average, you know, uh, above the average for safeties in the league. The guy plays. He balls out. Um, Queen Knight Mitchell, he's a good slumps. You know, he had some good plays, some bad plays. Um, but, you know, he looked solid. He looked like, you know, challenging. He was chirping out there. So I love to see that. Um, he had some catches that you know were made on him in I think a penalty or two, but other than that, man, um, the young guy is, has a you know, solid uptick. Zach Bond, man of the hour, man. He had three sacks, right? well, not yeah, two sacks, um, but just that dumb penalty by Jalen, Jalen Carter. We'll get to him in a second, but um, he was a force to tour out there, um, just getting the job done, getting the sack at the end of the game, and then second low in the second series. So I like that. Um, Let's see, Nicobe Dean had some good run fits, you know, some good plays on the screen play. He's blowing it up. Um, had the one catch over the middle where, you know, his eyes, um, you know, he, his mind betrayed, you know, him where he, he should have been moving with the guy. But, you know, things like that are not going to happen. And then the pick, the drop pick, I'm like, damn, Nicobe, pick six dash. But, you know, I don't expect him to make plays like that in the passing game. That's what I don't, I don't really see that as his role. I see him as being the run guy, the blitz guy. So um, as long as him and Zach Bond can play, you know, in sync, <laughs> I'm fine with that, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Anyways, um, CJ Garner Johnson looks solid in coverage, you know, and coming in down, you know, in run fits and such. But that one play over the top, I don't know what the hell he was doing, freelancing maybe, but um, definitely got to get into the film room and see what the hell, you know, he was thinking. Um, let, was that Jordan Reed or, yeah, Jordan Reed run right past him. And, you know, he can't have that shit. So um, I allowed him hit the tackle. Um, he, he looked good. He, outside of that one play, him and Lane looked good. Um, let's see, Thomas Booker didn't really notice him. Jalen Carter, you know, he, he was in there. He was active. Brandon Graham you know, looked active as well. Bryce Huff. Um, I think, I just think it was the conditions of the field. I want to see him. I can't really judge a lot of these guys on, you know, the way they were, you know, um, kind of like getting up field and, and such, because a lot of slipping and sliding going on out there. So, um, I want to see him next game to really evaluate him. But Vontae Maddox, I'm kind of down on him. I'll downgrade him with this game. He didn't look too good. He looked decent at times in coverage, and then he looked like he was, you know, I mean, he gave up a touchdown. He was uh, trailing behind. Not that penalty where, you know, he held a guy. I don't know, man. Like, I, I want Q in there in base, and then, you know, we have Rodgers. 
I, you know, about the same size. So I'd rather have uh, that coverage guy out there and him give up some size versus uh, what we had tonight. Um, Nolan Smith, he looked solid, you know, um, getting getting in there in, in, in some uh, some run run fits, you know, at presence, but pass rush, he still needs, you know, to uh, to use some moves. Man, he has one move, but he needs to chain moves together to get to the quarterback. But Williams looked, you know, um, looked pretty good. From what I saw, Jake Elliott, excellent. Brady Man, I don't know what to make of the kickoff, to be honest with you. Um, as well as the Packers players, uh, Jordan Love played a nice game. Um, despite his stats, you know, like, he was getting, you know, guys in the position. I feel like, you know, the guys around him kind of, you know, I mean, they fed him a little bit, receivers, but, you know, dropping balls and, you know, this, this, the condition of the field was slick. So running, I, from, I remember Dante Mobics were running an excellent route. He was open, but he slipped. And he was just pounding the ground. I'm like, that's, I'm like, damn, that's not his fault. That's the fault of the field. He ran too good of a route. It was too good for the field. <laughs> it made him slip. So that's not even on him. So it's hard to judge the back. You can't judge either team really from this game because it's the first game and it's on a sloppy field and it was in, you know, uh, foreign land. A lot of caveats there. Malik Willis didn't really show anything because he only had two plays, you know, one completion. Then he got sacked on the next play. Josh Jacobs, I mean, he made some, some plays, but he wasn't doing a lot of things early. So don't know what to make of him, but um, he need, I, I, think, I still think he's in a perfect situation. So we'll see. Because he busted a couple runs. Like he burst, busted a 32-yard run. So um, Emmanuel Wilson looked good, though, as his uh, relief. We'll see what uh, Marshawn Lloyd is able to bring. But he didn't touch the ball. Um, Jaden Reed looked good in the receiving game and, you know, <laughs> had some uh, some wiggle. So, I mean, I, I love the cadre of uh, receivers and tight ends that they have there in Green Bay. He went off, but it was for 70 yards. But other than that, you know, I, I, I champion the Eagles defense. You know, I, they, for them to hold, you take away that 70-yarder, you know, they're holding, you know, Green Bay to these numbers, these guys they have. Shout out to them, man. Um, Darren McKinney, just like I said, being a nightmare. J Jerry Alexander. Being physical, but you know, only so much you can do. Rashawn Gary and and um, you didn't hear from Preston Smith really all night. That just shows you how good. Um, not Landon. Um, he boy had to come. Landon had like a slip or two, but you know, things that happened. Like you know, we didn't overall play our A game as O line, but it was a, a pretty solid game, and for the most part, we did our thing. Um, not getting to any of these other guys, but hey, man, um, I thought it was a very good game. Uh, overall like i said you know the two halves like the, looking at the first quarter look at that oh i was i thought it was a bad omen rising i'm like damn bad moon rising mm -mm. but you know we toughed the game out we settled in on offense and the defense you know they at times they they clamped down so that was good enough for me but hey we'll get out of <laughs> but hey we'll get up out of here on that note but you're not even watching now but it's all good because i love talking about the eagles and i love making these freaking videos because i love this team so let's go into the next one so anyways, as always, as always, it's Fly Eagles Fly. So let's motherfucking go. Thanks for watching. Check me out at Centron, Centron Anime, Centron Life, or Centron Laughs, or other social media.